Hey guys, what's going on? I'm sorry, long time no see. I haven't had the time to make a lot of videos, but I'm back. So today I want to show you something new. Uh, I have installed a solar panel at my at the roof of my garden shed and I actually need that to heat my greenhouse. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is my garden. There's nothing much going on here, but as you can see, I have installed this really nice solar panel which is now dirty from the sand that we got from um, the Sahara Desert from Africa so yeah this is my 100 watts solar panel which I have installed a couple of days ago the cables are going down here the cables are actually four square millimeters thick and yeah this is the box where I keep the solar charging unit all of the breakers and two 60 amps car batteries okay let's open up this uh, box here as you can see it's all dirty and this is the sand from the Sahara so some like two times a year we get that in Austria and yeah so here you can see uh, the electrical appliances that I've installed so first of all the current and electricity is coming down from the solar panels into this breaker here which has 10 amps then the electricity is going into the solar charge controller in this case I have a MPPT solar charge controller which is the best um, quality that you can get so here the solar panel is connected Right now it's bringing down 19 volts and only 1.2 amps actually. So that's 22 watts and that's because the sun is low and also the solar panel is dirty. So in the best condition it should bring 100 watts. Then also I have connected a battery or actually I have connected two batteries in parallel um, they have 60 amp hours so it should be 120 amps together and they come up with about 13 volts right into the solar charger here 13.3 volts right now they charge with 1.5 amps or actually yeah and they are 78 percent full so in the morning they only had like 50 percent of uh, battery and yeah now they are at 78 so they will almost be full when the day is over and the load right now is at zero um, because right now i do not uh, use any load so I only use the heater in the night time and that's because during the day I don't need any heating because during the day the uh, greenhouse is really warm yeah and this is where I have connected the load and before the load I have also connected a timer this is a 12 volt timer and I've programmed it so that it starts at 12 o'clock in the night and it will go until 7 o'clock in the morning right so let's uh, put it on manual okay so now it's on because this light has switched on and this is another breaker that is coming up from the batteries so this is 10 amperes as well yeah and then here uh, the cables go into the greenhouse So now inside of the greenhouse I've laid the cables here and this is my small poly tunnel that I've created and in here you can see all of my tomato seeds and yeah this is a 10 amps fuse so if anything goes wrong with the heating unit then the fuse will go and it will protect your system from a short and this is the small heating unit that I got so it's not much it's only 50 watts runs with 12 volts so it's not a lot but it's enough to heat the inside of this small 
tunnel and keep the tomatoes from freezing. Uh, let's check out the temperature that we had in the last days. So in here the maximum minimum temperature was minus 5 degrees Celsius in the last days. So this is not good and the tomatoes won't do well if it's freezing. And this is why I have to heat um, this small tunnel here to make sure that the tomatoes survive. And yeah, the maximum temperature during the day is 34 degrees Celsius. So it's really no use if you um, heat the greenhouse during the day. So I only need the heating during the night. And this was actually a heating unit that I had before. Before this one, this is a little bit bigger. It has 180 watts, but it was drawing 13 amps. So I constantly got errors from my MPPT solar charging unit and it was not working. It was too strong. Uh, so I went back down to the smaller heating unit here. So yeah, guys, I went through all of the trouble just to install this small heating unit in my greenhouse and yeah, it might seem a little bit benign, but actually this is so important to me because last year uh, we had a very bad tomato year, so it was really cold until May and my tomatoes in May were only this big So that really sucked. We lost like one month of harvest because of this and Yeah, that's the reason why uh, This year I'm going to be better at gardening and that's why I have installed this small heating unit Yeah guys, and this heating system is really working so I can see that many of my seeds have germinated now and Pretty soon I have some small tomato and also red pepper uh, seedlings. Yeah, all right. Um, other than that, there's not much going on in the garden right now. So um, yeah, here I have sown some leek onion, but there are no seedlings yet. Here I have sown some radishes and they are doing really good. This is where I've sown some um, lettuce plants. And here I got more lettuce and also more tomato seed trays. Yeah, also this year I decided to take a couple of um, strawberries and put them inside of my greenhouse because last year the strawberry harvest was really bad. We only had strawberries for about one month because it was far too cold. So six plants are now inside of my greenhouse. Yeah, so now let's check out how many amps this device is drawing so now it's on the timer is on and we have 1.6 amps or 20 watts right now this is how much the device is drawing yeah so it should actually draw more because it's a 50 watts device so maybe it's just a 20 watts device who knows <laughs> yeah um so this is my system that I have installed and yeah I'm pretty happy with it but uh, now I have to clean off the solar panel because it's not uh, bringing as much current as it used to bring and that's because it's dirty but other than that I'm really proud of my self-made um, solar charger and yeah pretty awesome I like it um, also this MPPT charge controller only has 10 amps. So it's a, all of this is just 10 amps and it won't give you more current. If you want to have something stronger, then I would go for a 20 amps system. So yeah, this is pretty much uh, what I wanted to show you today. I really want to thank you for watching and I will make more videos in future. So thank you for watching guys and stay tuned till next time.